Hey, the scriptures say that, man. Yeah, the day of the Lord is no fucking joke, man. It's no joke. Ezekiel 24 and 9. I'm going to start at, yeah, I'm going to start at 9. Therefore, thus save the Lord Yahweh, woe to the bloody city, woe means destruction. I will even make the powerful great fire. Heap on wood, kindle the fire, consume the flesh. See how the flesh is being consumed? It is scripture say that too in Revelations. Where with them they do hurt. Talk about the nuclear warheads and his teeth. The lion is where his power is at. The warheads, the nuclear warheads. Heap on wood, kindle the fire. Consume the flesh. And spice it well. And let the bones be burnt. <laughs> you can see the flesh is burning. And the bones are being burnt. And those nuclear missiles are 100 million degrees. Then set it upon the coals thereof, that, that the brass of it may be hot and may burn, and that the filthiness of it may be molten in it, that the scum of it may be consumed. That's how Lord's going to cleanse America, man. By thermonuclear war, or thermonuclear hot bath. Now, the two best cleansing agents is what? Water, which you had the, we had the time of Noah, who destroyed the earth and cleansed the earth. The first, first death with water, now the second death is with fire. She had worried herself with lies, and her great scum went not forth out of her. Her scum shall be in the fire. Ezekiel 22, 22 and 20. As, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. Now, these missiles are going to melt everything in America to the point where America is going to be a gigantic desert. The Lord is going to turn America into a desert. All these skyscrapers. All these concrete of the Seattle Needle building, the capital in D.C., everything is going to be a complete desert, man. Wiped away. To blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury. And I will leave you there and melt you. <laughs> As you can see, she's getting melted. And the majority of our people, you're going to get melted in America, man. Lord willing, we don't get melted. We hope and pray. We fear the Lord. We know this is coming. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's on you. But don't worry about it. Yeah, it's all about you can't see it. I don't believe it's going to happen. Don't worry. You're going to believe it. When your ass is burning up like this, <laughs> and your flesh, and your bones is burning, and you're cracking like charcoal on a fucking grill, then you're going to then you're gonna remember all the shit that you was told. You're going to wish you repented, man. You're going to be screaming, man. It's going to be a horrible death, man. <laughs> when, the Lord, when the Lord brings his judgment, yo, man, we, even we're going to be in fear. The scriptures say the righteous are scarcely make it. So if you're the elect, you're barely going to make it out of here, man. And you're going to see this destruction looking down at the chariots, at the windows, looking down at America being destroyed. Yea, while I gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath. This is the this is God's wrath. And ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. And the Lord and the Lord's going to actually put his fire into the missiles. Because the Most High, is a, he's a complete He's a complete energy. He's complete fire. He's the father of spirits. With spirit is fires. And the Most High going to put his spirit into the missiles. To, his spirit is going to be into the missiles to intensify the power of the missiles. <laughs> As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. And you're going to know the fury, the whole world's going to know the fury of the Lord when this happens. I don't believe this is going to happen. When this is going to happen? Don't worry about when it's going to happen. Just know it's going to happen very soon. What you got to do is get yourself fucking right so you don't get caught up like this. This is coming. It ain't going to be no fast death. So, oh, no, I'll just wait till the missiles come. Had somebody tell me that, oh, when the missiles come, it's going to get blown away. No, no, no. It don't even work like that. Your skin is actually going to melt out your body. You're going to feel the, the meat and the skin ripping and burning out your body, man. Melting off. Your eyeballs burning out. Hey, the scripture said, let me bring that out. A hey, Malachi 4.1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And America is going to burn as an oven. And all the proud, yeah, a lot of people that are prideful, you're proud, you think you know everything, this is going to be you. What? And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day and the day, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. It, and it shall leave them there, neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up. As calves in the store, we're going to get beamed up, Lord willing, the chariots. And we ain't going to suffer this, 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 this final destruction, man, this fire. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. And the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts, Lord of armies. 
Yeah, man. Lord's not playing, man. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be and this shall be the play where if the Lord will smite the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away. As you can see, the skin and the flesh is consumed away. Their flesh shall consume away, stand upon their feet. While they stand upon their feet, as you can see, she's standing upon her feet, and her flesh is consuming away. They get that from the scriptures, man. They get this scene, Terminator 2, from the scriptures that we said James Cameron actually fell asleep, and the Lord put this vision, put this vision. he had a dream of this destruction, he put it in the movie. And their eyes shall consume away in their in their holes. You can see their eyes is burnt out. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You can see that the, the, there's no tongue there. Which that's twofold. I meaning your visions of the future. You get a lot of our people that say, oh, I want to do this in the future. I'm going to do that in the future. America ain't going to be destroyed. I'm going to do this in 10 years. I'm going to do this in 20 years. And your mouth, meaning your philosophies too. That's twofold. Actually, your actual tongues and your eyes going to burn. And your future... Of what you see in America and your different philosophies on the bullshit that comes out of your mouth, that's gonna be done away with too, man. Because you're gonna die and you're gonna fry. Deep fry like Popeyes. See how she woke up? Well, that's what the prophets in the scriptures, that's what happened, that's what happened with them. The Lord gave them a vision. He gave them a vision of the future of America. They actually, they actually saw Matt, they actually saw Manhattan being burned. They saw California being burned. They saw all of America being burned. And he wrote it down in the scriptures. They describes them as bows and arrows. Arrows being shot from one end to the earth to the other. A lake of fire. I created the smiths. The coals. I, I, I created, the, I created this, the, the smiths to create the weapons, man. The coals of fire. Fiery serpents. And, the, and in their warheads is like a lion with teeth. That's, what the, that's how they described it. They didn't say nuclear missile. Because that word didn't exist. First of all, they wasn't speaking this English. That's the language you're speaking now. But that's for us to break down the last days, what they was talking about back then. Because some of us back then actually was writing down the vision that we saw. Some of us are the ancient prophets coming back, doing the same thing we did before. Prophesying against America. Prophe prophesying of destruction, doom, gloom, and boom. Like uh, Bush calls us. President Bush calls us the prophets of doom. And Trump, Donald Trump knows us too, man. Donald Trump knows we got the truth. And he knows he's a freaking Edomite, man. And he knows he's going to slavery, man. In the afterlife. <laughs> see, the majority of our people, they don't see it. They don't think this ever this is never gonna happen. They think we're crazy. We're talking we're talking bullshit. But as you can see, Iran, they're getting ready, man. They banned the US wrestlers from the 2017 Olympics. They banned United States for uh citizens for coming in after Trump banned did the traveling ban. Banning seven, six other Arab countries. So they get ready for war, man. Iran, Iran's going to dump the dollar. It's a lot of shit going on in the world. Romania's half a million people protesting. Venezuela, people are freaking cannibalism. They're going to eating zoo animals. Mexico, they're rioting, looting. It, all shit is happening. You got our people that, that, that can't see it, but that's the fear of the Lord, man. Because the Lord got them blinded. He only has the elect that can see it. As she can see, she saw it. And she feared. Look at her face. And we fear. That's why the scriptures say fear is the beginning of knowledge. You fear the Lord. You see, the Lord said fear is the beginning of knowledge. You fear the Lord. You're like, man, I know this is coming. I'm going to get myself right to the best of my ability. You know? We know this is coming. Whether you believe it or not, that's on you. But don't worry about it. Just because you don't believe, does that mean that the nuclear missiles are not going to pounce upon your head? No. It doesn't matter if you believe or not. You're still going to be deep fried. Regardless, America is still going to be destroyed. The prophecies are still going to come to pass. Yahweh Shai is still coming back. And we're going to be restored as a people. And your Rothschilds are going to slavery. And there's nothing you can do about it, man. She's all messed up. And when the prophets actually saw this vision, they threw up. They passed out. When the prophets actually saw this destruction, they, 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 they passed out, man. They got sick. It was a devastating destruction. This, this destruction is going to be fucking devastating, man. Even us, we, when we get up, low, when we get beamed up in the chariots and look down America being destroyed, we're going to be messed up. We're going to be happy, but at the same time, we're going to be fucking scared as hell. It's going to be a perfect balance of emotion, man. No feet. <laughs> 